Peter, you are the founder of the most prestigious design award in the world. And to, be, to become that reliable, you need to uh, be really independent without constant to please any brands or company. How do you keep this independency? The first thing is uh, it's important to have a very good independent jury. I think we are probably the only competition like this, the only award uh, who does just invite independent designers, some design journalists or design uh, professors. So we, we cannot allow designers from companies, employed designers in the bigger companies, just to uh, avoid any conflict of interest. And uh, this is one thing. Then the next thing is we have a very international jury. So we try not to have more than 20% Germans. Uh, sometimes we have less than 10 percent and uh, so this gives us a, a broader angle, a different viewpoint of different cultures and uh, this is probably the, the main, main point to give us the independence here. And of course we are independent from the money from any company or from the government or whatever. This is the other point. Right, so you say that um, uh, you don't have any jurors from uh, brands that uh, participate to the uh, award. Uh, so, do you think that could be one of the most common mistakes uh, regarding your competitors? Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's always difficult. If you, for example, if you were the head of design in a very important company and you see a competitive product in the award, um, in our case, I, I could imagine you are fair enough that you give a red dot to this product, but probably you will never right. agree on the best of the best. Yeah? Because uh, you have to argue when you come back to your company and your main why competitor, you why did you do this right. and so And we want to avoid things like this. Or it is also, I had so many uh, experience with, uh, you have judges and they have their own products in the award. Mm. And then you ask the judge, please can you leave the room while we discuss this. But then later is the problem, who will tell this person that his design is not good enough? You know, it's very tough to do this. And um, for, for, for this reason, we try to avoid all this situation and to make it more fair uh, to all the participants, I think. So what do you think is the most common mistakes, by the way, from your competitors? From, from like the competitors? From other, yes, oh, they, Their main com uh, uh, mistake is they observe us and they follow us. Okay. They don't do their own things, and uh, in many cases. And this is always a, a big mistake. If you just focus on your competitor, and then you try to be almost the same and you, to follow, this is not good enough. Yeah, but that would make you proud. Yes, oh, I don't have anything against it, you know. I, I uh, just uh, um, know the story from the Red Star Award in China. They, these people come to me and they say, hey, we admire you, we copy you. So what can I do? <laughs> it's, it's something that we are really proud of. <laughs> right. And the red dot is very important and um, uh, it really affects the, the market. It never happened that some, a brand, a company, asked you in exchange of money to win a red dot. No, uh, but uh, we had, in the past, we had some attempts in a more sophisticated way. For example, uh, there was, uh, at the end of the year, I received a nice offer from a big Asian company and they said they have a huge amount um, left for the end of the year and they asked me, maybe you know what to do with it, you can do something with it. But, uh, you know, we cannot uh, accept sponsorships uh, and especially no money <laughs> sponsorships uh, from companies who can win a red dot. You know, if there is an insurance company or a bank or whatever, we can be sponsored by them, but we don't ask them. Uh, but if it comes to the regular companies who can win in our award, we need to keep this independency and we don't accept uh, any sponsorships. And what are the practical benefits of winning a red dot for a designer or a company? It is, it is uh, different, you know, there are different uh, reasons for designers, for companies to take part in the award. The original idea behind it was that, you know, design is, is sometimes a miracle in the companies, in the bigger companies. And, um, so sometimes designers do a very good job, but the product fails. Even the design is very good, 
because the product can fail because it's the wrong price policy, it's the wrong distribution policy, it's the wrong communication, whatever. So there can be so many reasons. And to make sure that the designers did a good job, even the product was not good enough, we created this kind of award. So this gives now the confidence to the designers that they did a good job. This is one point. The next point is the designer can raise the awareness of the importance of design within the company. Uh, for example, the head of design of uh, Mercedes, Bruno Sacco, at that time, was not allowed to give public speeches on the design of Mercedes. When he became with his team the Red Dot Design Team of the Year, after this, the marketing people, they invited him to almost every fair to give talks about the design of Mercedes. So this changed the whole um, you know, reception of what the meaning of design can be for a company. Next point. And then of course, finally, a red dot can sell better. Uh, it can help to sell a product, it can help to position a product in the market much better, especially in the area where we have a very saturated market situation, you know, where we have a strong competition. Uh, it is funny how many bathtubs we have in our competition. Because this competition is very strong, it's very, very uh, uh, difficult to compete there. And then a red dot makes a difference. Uh, we have a red dot index. Uh, this is a kind of a simulation of the success of the companies who were awarded as red dot design teams of the year. And we took symbolically shares from the stock registered companies and put them into our red dot index basket. And you know what happened. In the last decade, the red dot index performed much better than the DAX index, than the Nikkei index, than uh, you know, all the other major indexes in the world. So that means, as Thomas Watson Jr., the IBM boss, once said, good design is good business. And right. uh, red dot helps to be good in design.